Okay. Uh, finally, I have things out of the way enough to uh, work on some of these little engine problems. And remember the problem with the HM1. Um, I now have two problems actually. The governor spring, I was out here in the garage and I moved the HM1 and I had it by the EM1 and something happened and I hit the governor spring and it flew off into the garage somewhere and I haven't seen it since. So, uh, I need to make a governor spring for the HM1, but first, uh, we're going to get the ignition s sorted out and working again. So, um, remember I switched out to more voltage on the yellow unit here. And I'm trying to remember where, oh, there's, so I put the ground under this corner of the engine, so I need to get the screwdriver out. Pull that screw out. I guess we'll have to loosen both of these screws. All right. Uh, two and a half. I need the need the ball drive for this side because this screw is underneath the uh, can um, valve rod. There. Loosened up. Now we can get that out of there and then pull our ignition wire and then the harness is unplugged. So this unit comes right out now. Um, this ground is a little corroded, but I think it should have been working fine. I may try test this unit. I'm gonna, you know, let's just test it right now and see. Maybe I did just have a bad ground, but I thought that that ground has been working so well. There.
plug that in and now plug in the trigger. Nope, it's not. There, when I unplugged it, it, it fired though. We definitely have. Definitely have contact there though, because when I check this Alright, well let's uh set up the other ignition unit and test that. And this is the six to twelve volt unit that came with the engine. So I'll pull our spark plug. Like that. voltage on here because this is supposed to be a, a six volt unit so I'll put our fourth battery in Just saw a video with the, uh, I think Sterling kit where they had this engine set up and demoing it with a big 12 volt pack because this is igniter is 6 to 12 volts. And I would really rather not need to find a 12 volt pack for this unit, but. And this has an on-off switch, so we can... Hold the plug on our ground here. Flip the power on. Oh, 
Well, maybe my contacts are an issue. All right. Uh, let's see if I can trigger this. on its own. Let me find a test harness to trigger this with. All right, here is another one of the HM1 ignition units. Uh, Musa A01 pulse igniter. Um, this one came with a spare piece of wire to extend the lead since it was too short. This is the one we tried just a minute ago that didn't work. With my five volt pack, I got out my multimeter and checked the voltage on the pack and made sure that it was uh, getting to the plug. Here's the old yellow igniter that wasn't working. Um, and I got a new plug. And we are going to try and see if this unit, it is marked as a, five, a six volt unit. We'll see if it works on five and a half volts with my low batteries here. Um, off the trigger is set uh, where there's the I also grabbed a lead and I built a test contact so I can just pop these two wires together instead of using the um, contacts on the HM1 I plugged that the right way around. Okay. This unit is sparking when I contact with it. So make sure that's out. Now we'll hook it up on the motor and There we go. This igniter is working. Okay. So, this unit, which I have never installed in anything, uh, didn't want to work with 5.5 volts, so it might be, uh, it might need the 6 to 12 volts um, to function properly. Any number of these components in here could be a little bit, you know, out of spec and they're all potted in there so it's not like I can inspect it to do any repairs. So uh, we'll set this unit aside and test it with a higher voltage pack at some point. This unit uh, I think is dead and this is going to be the second of the yellow igniters that came with the um, engomores that have failed. Uh, so I'm going to... Looks like this unit is taped shut. I'll probably slice this tape and inspect it later to see if there's anything to do inside it, but I'm guessing this unit is also just potted in there so there's no way to fix the electronics, but that is uh, disappointing that um, this seems to be the second of these yellow units that's failed. Um, but right now I'm going to thread this uh, Musa unit back in and I'm going to run the power 
core, uh, the power connection out the bottom of the box and off to the side so I can hook this big battery pack up to it since it doesn't, since the big pack doesn't fit in the box. So. Alright. Here it is. We've got the original HM1 ignition module. Well, the one I have that works with this battery pack that is currently 5.5 volts because I've got low batteries in it. Um, and I cut the fat wire off of the HM or the uh, engine or the yellow unit to make the extension and I soldered that up and put insulation on it and now it's tucked in under the base here out of the way. So we should be able to run the HM1 again. Uh, oh, and I said I lost the um, governor spring for it. I just grabbed a random spring. I think this is one of the one that I took off of one of the ET engines. So uh, the ET1 or the ETX. Um, and it is staying put, so we'll put that on and use it for now, and then uh, worry about replacing it later.